Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Start 11 show. Leicester City versus Everton. A huge game. I feel like I say that every week. A huge game for the Toffees. One that uh, we need to get something out of. We really, really need to get something out of this game. Heading into two big home games as well. Coming up before that international break. Which you feel like if the results don't go the right way. Could be really crucial. Let's get into it. Jordan Pickford obviously in goal. He sat out on Tuesday night against uh, against Southampton. Now, would he have made a difference in goal for the penalties? Who knows? But I'll have him back for this game. Uh, back four. Now, we know. Listen, we know there's issues. We know there's players missing. Um, don't all scream at me all at once, but I'm going for Ashley Young at right back. Now, the reason I'm going for Ashley Young is because of the player I'm going to play ahead of him, which I'm not going to reveal right yet. But... Uh, Ashley Young came on at, at left back and I thought he was fine. I thought I think last week at Villa showed the versatility of him starting at right back. I actually think he's a better left back than he is a right back. I think when he plays left back, he has to concentrate more. But I'm starting him at right back because Dixon, I think, is just a little bit young and a little bit naive. Um, and I think that little bit of experience... It's one of these two players, basically, isn't it? And I'm just going to go with Ashley Young, just simply because of who I'm having in midfield. But we'll come to that in a moment. At left-back, Vitaly Michalenko, listen, he's touch and go. I understand that. But I imagine if push comes to shove, he'll play. Um, they'll be giving him all the right powders and, and whatever to make try and help him out. Um, so I imagine he'll play in this game. So I'm going to go with Michalenko. The centre-backs, Taki, I think, will play. I know the managers, he left them out on Tuesday. I know the managers said, he again, he's not done his touch and go. I think he'll play. I think Taki's the kind of fella who'll go, I can get through this game. He's the kind of fella who'll go, we've got, we haven't got much left there. I think we'll get through. We can get through. And next to him, I'm going to go for Jake O'Brien. Now, whether the manager feels like Michael Keane is a problem. Michael Keane is another one who's touch and go as well. I just think if he's touch and go, this is a good opportunity to start Jake O'Brien and let's see. Michael Keane, we just can see goals when he's in the team. It's nothing personal. It's nothing against him. He doesn't make huge, huge mistakes, although he got out jumped by Ollie Watkins last week, which I think is massive. I just think that there has to be some kind of change of all the goals we've been conceding. There has to be. And for me, Jake O'Brien following on from starting at Goodison against Southampton has to come into this team. And next to Taki, I think, you know, that's someone who can hopefully, you know, not, not get him through the game. The lad's played enough games. He's played international games. He's played, you know, he's played in France. He played in Cup Final against against Mbappe. You know, this fella, he, he's, not, he's not a kid. He's not completely wet behind the ears, but... Having someone like Taki next to him would really help him as opposed to someone like Michael Keane who's always looking after his own game. Um, so that's my back four. Into midfield, again, this is where it gets tricky. Um, I think that we've only really got two, and that's Mangala and that's Tim Irabunum. We've only got those two players, I think, really available. Harrison Armstrong, yes, but I don't think, I don't think I've seen enough of him yet to say he's going to get a Premier League debut, but I think I think Mangala obviously played the other night. He came on against Villa. Tim's played enough times this season already. You know, didn't start the game the other night. And I just think I just think they that'll be the two. Because who else have we honestly got? Who else have we honestly got? And I think Mangala will sit and he'll protect the back four. Um Tim has to learn that side of the game. I think he's been caught out in the away games. I think he has to learn that side of the game. And it's been, you know, it's been one of those where he's coming to Everton. He's played, he's been in the, every Premier League game. And the club might may not have had that plan for him when they signed, for, signed him. But that's what's unfolded. And yeah, I think he's been good at home. Away, maybe not so much. Um, as, and as I said, just has to learn that, that side of the game. So it's another pairing in there, but just going to have to do the best he can. Right midfield, I am going to go for Jesper Lindstrom. I 
I liked what I saw from him the other night. Some little moments. Okay. Finishing, maybe not a strong point. But I just, I did like, I did like just, I think he puts a great ball in from, no, not maybe set pieces, but just in open play. I think he's a good player. I just think it, it's taken him a little bit of time and it will continue to take him a little bit more time. But I, Jack Harrison, again, he's one with the managers mentioned. He had to go home because of illness. I think this is an opportunity for Lindstrom to start. And I think that's why you have to have Ashley Young behind them because the idea of him playing with Dixon again, I think that's far too naive a right-hand side. I think it has to, we have to have someone with a bit of experience to play behind them. Um, I think he's a player who can grow. He's still a little bit tame. He still looks like, has he got the physique to play in the Premier League? But I do think he's got the intelligence, and I do think he's a good player. Again, getting a game under his belt in the Premier League, a first Premier League start could go a long way to help that. We'll wait and see. On the other side, it's uh, and Dai obviously will be starting off the left hand side. We'd imagine um, Villa was had flashes uh, in Tuesday. Had flashes, never, never, neither time got up to the level of the performance he had against uh, Bournemouth. But again, I think he's in there now, and that's where he's going to be playing off the left now, um, and giving us that little bit of continuity, a little bit of something different. And in the middle. Um, of the midfield, just you know, the number ten role is Dwight McNeil. Who I think we'll forget about his his uh, left back, you know, start on Tuesday night. I think in the last couple of games he's looked, he's you know, assist a goal against Villa. I think that's probably his best position now going forward. And um, we'll, we'll listen. The manager might have a different way of looking at it. He might think the Corey comes into midfield and. You know, gives us a bit of, bit of physicality. Maybe Dwight plays out wide. I don't know. Maybe the court plays a little bit deeper in the three. I don't know, but that's who I'm going to go for. And up front, Dominic Carvalhoon. I think, you know, again, he missed Tuesday night because of illness, but I imagine he'll be available to play um, and lead the line. If he leads it like he did at Villa last week, then he's, de you know, he's due, due another goal because I thought he played really well against Villa, but obviously the miss... Um, that could have put the seal on the game. But that's my 11. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who would you go for? I'm sure a lot of people will be disagreeing with me on that right back. But uh, listen, I've showed you me working out, and that's all I can do. Give you me, give me, a, give you my reason why. Uh, let me know with the rest of the team. Who would you go for? Uh, it is a scratch side, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be one of one of those days. It's gonna be an important day. But Everton have just got to get through it the best he can. I have no idea what the bench is gonna look like. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Let me know your team anyway. Who would you go for? And make sure to check out the match preview with Baz and Jack. And uh, if you want more videos, more exclusive videos, ad-free videos and podcasts, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description. The QR code's come on the screen now. See you later.